Dryden, locate Emma Emmerich and have her put the president's disc to use. Emma should be to the northwest of your present location, on B1 of the Shell 2 core. She's in an area just on the other side of a card level 4 door. Hurry! If you take an enemy out without being spotted, an item box can sometimes appear. Don't forget to retrieve it. Jack, I guess you need to save. Don't push yourself too far. Emma's probably being kept in filter chamber number two, on floor B1 of Shell 2's core. Go around from the south and you should be able to reach her. Start out by swimming south. Punching is a basic move in hand-to-hand. -to, -hand. to deliver a punch, press the punch button. Go ahead, try it. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. Everything all right, Jack? Hang in there. Emma's probably being kept in filter chamber number two, on floor B1 of Shell 2's core. Go around from the south and you should be able to reach her. Start out by swimming south. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Atacan. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about E.E. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. That pretty much coincides with what the Colonel told me. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. 
In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, but she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. By setting C4 explosives within close proximity of each other, you can set off a chain of explosions with a single blast. Do it right, and you can set up some very effective traps. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. Jack, do you need to save? Take it easy. Those night vision goggles will let you see in the dark. The goggles are equipped with an image intensifier that amplifies even the lowest levels of light to produce clear images. Night vision devices were introduced in the 1940s. Since then, they've undergone several modifications to improve both sensitivity and resolution. Incidentally, the set you're using is a fourth generation model.
The places where the air is trapped have been inferred from the node's map data and should appear on your radar. There's air at the light blue locations on your radar. You should be able to come up for air there. Pay attention to the radar and move what? on. If you have the grenade selected during a peek, you can throw it over by pushing the weapon button with your back still against a shielding object. This should come in useful in situations such as discovering multiple opponents around the corner. Work with it. Jack, do you need to save? See ya! Emma's probably being kept in filter chamber number two, on floor B1 of Shell 2's core. Swim as far west as you can, then head north and you should reach filter chamber number two. The consumption of the O2 gauge will op- Biden, locate Emma Emmerich and have her put the president's disc to use. Emma should be to the northwest of your present location, on B1 of the Shell 2 core. She's in an area just on the other side of a card level 4 door. Hurry! What's up, Jack? Talk to you soon, Jack.
Emma's probably being kept in filter chamber number two on floor B1 of Shell 2's core. Filter chamber number two should be just north of your present location. Head northward. Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, Hem had no vacancies. Next move will be. They even tell me which way a gun is going to be pointed before the trigger is pulled. But your muscles, they're different. This should be fun. Well worth the wait. You knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. The girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a clear strike? Think again! I didn't do it! <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat-insulated compression. It was a top-secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch-capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth, and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got.
Colonel. They've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the President gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh... What's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Ryden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Ryden, go and find Emma. She should be in the locker room to the north of your area. You could ask Snake for more details if you need them. Ryden, Emma is in the core of Shell 2, somewhere in the northwest sector of level B1. Arsenal gear will go online soon. Rescue Emma ASAP. Ryden, when you're flattened against a corner, you have the ability to survey the scene behind you while staying concealed. This is called the corner view. Use it to find an opening in their surveillance and move ahead undiscovered. Strafing is allowed, unlike in VR training. Peek by using the L2 and R2 buttons, and make jump out shots with the weapon button. Take advantage of the different options. Jack, do you need to save? Hang in there. Ryden, we don't have much time left. Emma should be to the north of filter chamber number two, where you fought with Vamp. Ryden, you have to hurry. E.E.'s life is in your hands. Vamp mentioned a purified hydrogen bomb. Any idea what it is? A purified hydrogen bomb is a nuclear weapon that doesn't use a nuclear explosion to trigger a nuclear fusion reaction. There are two theories for triggering a purified hydrogen bomb. Of the two, our nation focused its research efforts on the laser inertial compression theory. Theoretically, it's the same as laser nuclear fusion. By solidifying deuterium and tritium at an extremely low temperature to create fuel pellets and bombarding these pellets with a high output laser, the surface of the pellets evaporate. This creates a reaction that results in the inward compression of the pellets. The center portion of a pellet reaches the necessary extreme temperature and pressure conditions for confining nuclear fusion and thereby creating a fusion reaction. I understand that research in this area continued into the last century, but I'd heard they hit a wall when they couldn't come up with a miniature laser capable of the necessary ultra-high output. From what you tell me, I guess I'll have to assume they overcame that problem. Punching is a basic move in hand-to-hand. -hand. To deliver a punch, press the punch button. Go ahead, try it. Ryden, go and find Emma. She should be in the locker room to the north of your area. You could ask Snake for more details if you need them.
Move in behind the enemy. What's up, Jack? Talk to you soon, Jack. You can find the locker room where Emma is to the northwest of the flooded area. Go! Running out of ammunition. Raiden, go and find Emma. She should be in the locker room to the north of your area. You could ask Snake for more details if you need them. Move in behind the enemy and push the weapon button without touching the left stick. You can put him in a chokehold. If you keep applying the choke, you can take him out altogether. The level of lethality is strictly your choice. Jack, do you need to save? Take it easy. Ryden, we don't have much time left. Emma should be to the north of filter chamber number two, where you fought with Vamp. Ryden, you have to hurry. E.E.'s -E life is in your hands. Jump down right onto the enemy's head from hanging to knock him out. Look down in first person view to aim well. Snake, I don't see Emma. Ee! -e -e. I can't believe Emma managed to get out of that room by herself. Take a more thorough look around. Those thermal goggles provide night vision by creating images from heat distribution. The goggles have a resolution of over 400,000 pixels, and their equivalent noise thermal differential is under 0.05 degrees Celsius. 
This performance is largely attributed to the use of a two-dimensional solid projection system with outstanding electric charge transfer capability. With these goggles, you can probably see Claymore mines that are rendered invisible with stealth camouflage. If you look around the necks of enemy soldiers, you can probably make out their dog tags. Without the balaclava, Are you all right? Who are you? Raiden, I'm getting you out of here. Get me out? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here, I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The President. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on! We have to get moving! This place will be flooded soon! Swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! I can't swim! You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim! I can't keep my eyes open in the water! That endless blue! The water, it, it wants me, it won't let me go! All right, then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My, my legs! I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma. Just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to Filter Chamber 2. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath? That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma. I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. 
Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. Well, what will you do then? I'll swim faster. Hang on tight. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One, two, three. Wait! What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I like who used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Okay, let's go. Raiden, take Emma to the computer room on B2 of Shell 1's core. She can launch the virus that you receive from the President. It's the only way to stop Arsenal gear. The flooding is getting worse. Go back to filter chamber number two where Vamp was, before the area is completely underwater. Move! When you're underwater with Emma, her O2 gauge will be displayed below your own gauge. Be careful. Her O2 gauge has lower reserve than yours. I guess we won't have any time to waste then. Keep an eye on Emma's O2 gauge. Take the shortest possible way to get through the flooded area. You can strafe left and right even during the first person view attack by pushing the L2 or R2 buttons. Also, the crawl button will let you go into a crouch. Push the L2 and R2 buttons at the same time to stretch up on your toes. This is a useful move when engaging the enemy from behind cover. Explore it. Jack, do you need to save? Take it easy. Raiden, take Emma and go to strut L. There's a ladder down onto the oil fence on the ocean surface from that strut. By setting C4 explosives within close proximity of each other, you can set off a chain of explosions with a single blast. Do it right, and you can set up some very effective traps. down and hold the action button near Emma to hold her hand. Start moving with the button pressed down and you can lead her by the hand. Push the action button again to let go. You won't be able to take her hand when you're holding a weapon. Keep that in mind.
Raiden. How's Emma doing? She's pretty shaky on her feet. Whatever Ocelot drugged her with, it's still having an effect on her. Poor thing. Look after her, okay? I'll try. She can't even walk by herself because of the drugs in her system. See how she has to sit down when you let go of her hand? If you have to release her hand, make sure she's somewhere safe. Don't let her go in sight of the enemy. If Emma loses consciousness, drag her just like you drag the enemy's body around. Unconscious, huh? Jack, what's up with you? Oh, uh, nothing. Hmm. Don't leave Emma in an unsafe spot when she's unconscious. Drag her if you have to, but get her to safety. Do you see Emma's life gauge underneath your own? If Emma's life gauge were to run out, I don't need to explain that, I think. Keep her safe and get her to strut L. Emma's life gauge will recover slowly while she's sitting down resting. If her life gauge is starting to run low, you should let go of her hand so she can rest. You will not be able to hold any weapons as long as you're leading Emma by the hand. You have no choice but to let go of her when engaging the enemy. Hide Emma in a safe spot as soon as you see a hostile personnel in the vicinity. After you eliminate the danger, pick her up and proceed on course. Even if you are spotted, there are ways to prevent the enemy from calling in reinforcements. Taking out the enemy's radio is, of course, an effective means of preventing communication. No backup can be called. Enemy patrols carry the radio behind their right hip. Aim from first person view and you should be able to put a bullet through it. Jeff, is that you? Take it easy. Think about what the ideal spot to aim for is, depending on time and circumstances. Go for the central nervous system if you absolutely have to take someone out. If all you want to do is immobilize them, temporarily incapacitate their mobility. If you want to make them bleed, go after their circulatory system. And if radio silence is your only objective, destroy their radios. Inflict only the damage that is the most effective for a given situation. Be smart. That's the key to survival. You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. 
My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and I was the wife. But it was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell 1 as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. We're on our way. Ryden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. Ah, <sighs> good job. Shell One's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? -E? What? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh. EE, -E, is that you? How? EE. -E. Um, why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I... I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right. That's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. Raiden, go with Emma to Strut L. If you exit the Shell 2 core and head south on the KL connecting bridge, you'll get to Strut L. There's no time. Move it! Push the L2 or the R2 button while in corner view. You will be able to peek out from behind cover and scan that direction. This will give you a better view of what lies ahead but make sure that the enemy doesn't catch you exposed. You will not be able to hold any weapons as long as you're... What's up, Jack? Well, Jack, it sounds like you and Miss Emma are getting along just fine. Rose? I've been monitoring your every move in conversation. I can't say it's been fun. Give me a break. I I'm only trying to keep her spirits up. Is that right? Absolutely. My mission is to get her to the computer room. That's all? Yeah. You're lying. You're attracted to her, aren't you? I'll admit she's cute. Cuter than me? Rose, you're beautiful. You know how I feel about you. Have you remembered yet? You mean April 30th? Yes. It's your birthday, isn't it? Wrong. You're not even warm. What is it then? Forget it. It's nothing. 
Maybe I'm just a little, a little jealous. Rose. You'd better get moving. Good luck. Jack, is that you? Ryden, take Emma and go to strut L. There's a ladder down onto the oil fence on the ocean surface from that strut. Okay, Ryden, let me talk to Emma. Sure, one condition, no arguing. No problem, put her on. E.E., -E, is that you? Yes, what do you want? Why did you get involved in weapons development? A lot of people will get hurt. Even more will die. I'm talking about the destruction of homes and cities, radioactive contamination for years to come. You, of all people, should know the horror of nuclear weapons. You know about our family's dark history. Why, E.E., -E, why? You left me. You made my life a living hell. I didn't have a choice. Don't lie to me. The pool. You could never look me in the eye after the accident. You took the easy way out so you wouldn't have to face me. That way you could avoid responsibility every day. You ran. You ran away so you wouldn't have to face the pain. No, that's not why I left. You left me and took the easy way out. That's not true. I left the house because... You're a criminal, just like me. A criminal? I know what you did. You manipulated our account on the network. But... Look at what you're doing now. You're nothing but a cracker. No, I'm just applying my knowledge for the cause. The cause? What cause? Justice? For peace, E.E. -E. I'm not like Snake. I, I can't carry a gun and face the enemy. That's why I do what I do best. Oh, right. Nice justification, Hal. Forget about being a criminal. You'd make a great lawyer. All right already. That's enough. What's up, Ryden? Uh... Out of my way. Let me talk. You want to talk to Otacon? Yes. I'll put him on. Yeah? What is it? Up to now, scientists have continued to be active participants in war. What's your opinion? There's no doubt that war has been an ideal event that fuels the progress of science. But therein lies the trap. We scientists must establish some form of work ethic. It's a tragedy that both the government and the military act as sponsors to modern science. What are you talking about? The atom and hydrogen bombs were born from laboratories owned and operated by universities and private enterprises. Los Alamos and the Lawrence Livermore Labs were run by universities. There's nothing strange about that. Weapons development and universities. This may come as a surprise, but science requires that information be exchanged freely. You're referring to the will of Professor Oppenheimer, aren't you? For me, science and weapons always existed at different levels. I never thought that my research results would bring about misfortune to others. That was until the Shadow Moses incident. I have no regrets. That's where you're wrong. We scientists know the dangers of a nuclear threat. It's up to us to protect the people. We can't allow it to be exploited by nations or their politics. Man and nuclear weapons cannot coexist. Mere mortals were never meant to handle nuclear fusion. Science defines me. My government respects me. Can you tell me what's wrong with that, can you? Okay, that's enough. If you hold down the L1 button, you can move while holding your gun. Should be an effective move when you need to break through some enemies. Don't forget it, kid.
Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. I've got this disk that the President gave me. This disk is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... This is my program. What? Why did the President give it to you? Huh? Did something happen to the President? Dead. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW's cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well... Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry. I... How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes, loud and clear. The President said that Arsenal Gear was the Patriots' key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriots' control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? But let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000? Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the Patriots. No. Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? Huh. I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. 
It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, and everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Uh... Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably. But the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. My bird in the computer room! Is he safe? That noisy overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. And he's my best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? That's what he's for? No. I really needed someone to talk to. Right. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. What can I do for you, Jack? How far do you think the Patriots' digital control extends? I don't really know, but it probably influences a lot of what goes on in our everyday lives. Even mundane things like which movies and songs become a hit and what kind of clothes we wear? The taste would be the easiest thing to manipulate. I mean, think about the kinds of film and bands everyone wants to go to see. It's whatever's at the top of the charts. And if the charts are made up... Exactly. But you can't really control individual taste. It's too closely tied to personality. I don't know about that. Trends have always been about following the leader. Not necessarily. The age of direct personal interaction is over. So is the idea of word-of-mouth communication. Rose, you have any friends you've met online? Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, I do. How many? Well, if you count only the ones I talk to a lot, I'd say about 20. How many of those have you actually met? 
one or two tops. Uh-huh. That's how it is for everyone, I guess. And even if your online buddies had fake identities and were circulating false information, you'd have no way of knowing. Fake identities? Right. And there'd be no way for you to know for sure. Well, what about people who do meet face-to-face -face, then? Like us. Us? Have you ever really shown me the real you? I wouldn't even know the real me myself. But you're being honest with yourself now. Well, that's how I see it. Well, how am I being honest? I've never seen you show so much feeling. Fear, anger, even a kind of giddiness. It may seem a strange thing to say, but you're living out loud for the first time that I've seen. I'm just trying to get the job done. This is war, you know. I do know that. I'm just saying you're different from your usual restrained self. What about you, then? I always want to be open with you as much as I can. Jack, is that you? Talk to you soon, Jack. Ryden, take Emma and go to strut L. There's a ladder down onto the oil fence on the ocean surface from that strut. Emma to strut L. Descend to the lower section of the strut and cross the oil fence to shell one. You can use weapons even while crawling. This is different from VR training, so you keep that in mind. Jack, do you need to save? See you soon, Jack. Wyden, look at the enemy you knocked out. See the star.
Jack, is that you? Yeah.